Hey friends and family from Ronnie's Farm to Table. Uh, it's your favorite German Ronnie here with little Ace playing in the leaves over there. Today is day five and we have a big moving project. I would like to get the pianos and organs out of the barn and I have to use an underpowered tractor to do it and then try to lift it up into this room here. I just cleaned it out. It's one of my dad's office trailers that he has. Um, yeah, so we will try that. Day number five and what a hassle it has been today. I had the plan to get all the pianos out of here with the help of my little tractor. And once I had the piano on it, drove out, my ground out there is not very even. I decided to abandon it. It became imbalanced, it became a danger to the tractor, it became a danger to the piano put it back in here, put everything on this wall, uh, probably in a week or so, a couple of weeks, a couple of friends come over here, help me carrying it out um, on the, onto a bigger tractor. Uh, so yeah, that will, that will be another day's project. But I got this corner cleaned off here, and this corner will be used for building a sauna. And you guys might be wondering why a sauna? The sauna is for the process of pasteurization. Um, one term that I will be using quite often is the substrate. The substrate basically will be a block of the straw and wood chips mixed together. And then you take this block, which is some way contaminated, might have some other mushrooms already growing in it, uh, bacteria, maybe some mold could be in it, has to be cleaned out. So, and by, by raising the temperature of that block, I will be able to start with a clean sleeve and put the mushroom spawns on top of it later and then get it all growing inside my growing room. Um, yeah, so we'll be coming up in the next couple of days, building a little room here, nothing fancy. It's not gonna look all pine wood. It's gonna be basically just two by fours, plywood on the outside and sealing it up pretty good so I can keep the heat in it. Um, yeah, that should be a good, Good start. I got a nice area here to do it. Good, good amount of space. So let me show you what's going on in room number one. We are here in room number one. Later on, I'm actually thinking about naming those rooms and growing areas after German states. So probably since I'm a Berliner, I would start with Berlin room, I suppose. But for right now, I will call it number one. Uh, I got this little heater in here. It's doing his little job, keeping this nice, warm and toasty. Also has a Wi-Fi capability, but my problem is it's so well insulated, I'm not able to pick up the Wi-Fi from the houses, so I have to bring it in here through an antenna. Um, those will be other day's projects for sure. But as you can see, I finished the growing tent. Um, the growing tent has, you know, lights in here, some shelves, and it's actually quite on a low setting. But when I'm in here and I'm looking at the picture, it's really bright, I'm all purplish. But um, most likely, I don't even need all of these lights. The, what I had been reading yesterday for a long time is that ambient light, just a soft ambient light is enough. It just helps the mushroom to orient themselves where they should grow versus all over the place. And so I will probably keep some on top, maybe some right here in the middle. So that's coming along very nicely and stay tuned. Day five is over. I need a break. A lot of things didn't happen as I wanted to. Didn't feel super productive, but there are other days where we'll come along. We'll be super productive. Have a wonderful Wednesday night. Bye.